Hello, my name is Cassidy and today we're going to be using common household items to extract pure caffeine from instant coffee. Now the first step is to heat up some water and add your instant coffee to it and produce a nice strong brew. Um, our water here is nearly boiling so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Now I'm using instant coffee simply because it's much easier to dissolve a lot of it in water than regular coffee. Okay, now that that is just about reaching its boiling point, we're going to add in our salt. Now what the salt is going to do is prevent the alcohol from mixing with the water and instead keep separate so it can dry out the caffeine. I'm going to make sure you add in a good amount here to make a nice disgusting salty brew of coffee. Now once you have a nice uniform salty coffee solution, you can take that off the heat and if you were using regular coffee grounds it would be a good idea to filter it at this point to remove any excess plant matter. I however use instant coffee so I'm going to go straight ahead and pour this into a clear container. Okay, well we now have that into our container and we can't pour the alcohol on yet. If we were, because of the high temperature, it would immediately evaporate. So what we're going to do is leave this for about an hour until it's cooled to room temperature and then we can begin our separation process. Okay, now that we have our delicious salty coffee mixture, it's time to add our alcohol and cause separation and draw out all that caffeine. So, I'm just going to pour that right in the top there. And because we've let it cool, none of this is going to evaporate off yet. Do not shake that or disturb it too much. Just give it a little stir to make sure that it's all immersed. Make sure we get enough in there to cause proper separation. Alright, now that we've let that settle, we have a nice caffeine rich alcohol top layer and a bottom layer consisting of salt, water, and plant matter impurities. I'm going to try to show you this on camera. It's a little bit tricky to see, but we have this much more transparent top layer here. Now, we're going to carefully skim this off. I'm using the little eyedropper thing I got from the pharmacy. We're just going to really carefully suck that up and squirt it out into our little dish right here. Now, it's better to leave some of it than to suck up a bunch of our impure bottom layer. So, if you can't get quite all of it, that's okay. Okay, so now that we've skimmed off our top layer into our dish, we can let this aside to evaporate until we're left with crystalline caffeine residue. One neat way that we can illustrate the separation of the alcohol and salt water is by taking a small sample of the bottom layer of this and placing it in a white dish like I've done here. Now we can see if we take a small amount of our alcohol-rich top layer and introduce it, the two will not mix at all. You can see those drops staying completely separate until they eventually settle into the center here. Alright, so now that we've let that sit for long enough and let all the alcohol evaporate off, we're left with this little bit of residue in the bottom of our dish. So what we're going to do with that is take our spoon and just scoop up as much of that as we can. Alright, now that we've scraped up our leftovers, we're left with our extract of crude crystalline caffeine. Now, caffeine in its pure form is a crystalline white powder, and as you can see, this still has a good amount of plant matter impurity in it, but that's about as pure as you're ever going to get 
using basic kitchen techniques. 